What's poppin'? Let us get to it. Clicker class. Can I have your money? And this is a robbery. No. So I don't remember where the hell we left off. I think we killed Golem. A lot of event bosses, as you can see. Maybe we'll knock some of those out. But let's try and make a blindfold. I want to make that. Or a uh, master ninja gear. We're obviously missing some things. Tab eye. Black belt. Easy. I could get my hands on those. Easy. I'm just kind of like taking my time with this playthrough because I know that Wither Taco, aka the person who made the add-on mod, he's trying to add in a uh, a clicker class pillar. You know how Solar Pillar, pillar Stardust Pillar, Nebula one, he's trying to add in a clicker one. And I saw that he's like almost done with that. So I kind of want to wait until that comes out. I've never gotten Master Ninja Gear. So annoying to farm Bone Lee. It is. But like at the same time, I usually never have that much trouble farming Bone Lee. Like this is the first time like ever I've had this much trouble farming. Doesn't feel right. Oh, there's a Bone Lee. Yeah, if we kill both these guys. Oh, there's another Bone Lee. They know what I want. There's a Tab Eye. I can see a Tab Eye. Oh, we got a Blindfold too. Amazing. All right, see, that wasn't too bad. That's usually how it goes. Boom. Beautiful. And it has armored on it already. We gotta fight the Lich. How do I make a soul forge? Ah, of course, of course. Okay, we gotta fight some mech bosses. Um, All three of them. Not at once. What can I do while I wait? I can do the pumpkin moon. I kind of don't want to, but we can. There's like really not that much we can do right now. Kind of hyped that me and Ryan are almost done with the multiplayer playthrough. That's going to be my second 1.4 playthrough. And also, that means that me and Ryan are going to do some modded stuff after. Let's make a petition to create the sex mod earlier. What if it's already in the making and we just don't know it? All of the greatest Terraria mod minds are already together making it. We just don't know it. Why did you use periods for your wall? What do you mean? You're talking about period like this? Someone mentioned something about a disgusting foot fetish mod that wasn't going to be uploaded to T-Mod. Disgusting foot fetish mod. The major thing that makes the clicker class as hard as it is, that I could like barely touch bosses sometimes. If they aren't in my circle, they might as well be a fucking immune. I can't touch them. I can touch this one. See, if they ever get out of the circle, we switch to the fucking specter one and we just hit them from miles away. Let's end the fight already. I gotta fight a couple more mech bosses after this. Maybe <laughs> we should see what happens. I'm gonna get a bunch of like shitty accessories, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put the reaching reforge on all of them, just because I want to see how like how far we can get this circle. Oh, you guys want some stories? All right, I told this story yesterday. This story was how like me and a couple of my friends during uh, sixth grade, we had this big ass bottle of whiteout. And we put it all over the bathroom toilet and it just it just looked like a like a bad scene not only did it like fuck up the toilet but it also looked like somebody just busted everywhere in there and then there was the other story where one of my friends threw a sandwich at this girl <laughs> it was like a sandwich in a bag you know like how they uh, you pack a sandwich for like lunch or something and he threw it at this girl who was in the girl's bathroom like they were joking around they know each other we know them we were joking around and he threw it at the girl but then like the janitor passed by out of all the people the janitor was the one that gets pissed off janitors are usually chill you know they do what they do they usually chill but this dude he like that like shit the the sandwich ticked them off he saw that sandwich get thrown at her it was in the girl's bathroom and he's like, go pick that up right now. I was like, God damn. That shit must have triggered something in them. PTSD for the sandwiches. I'm seeing people butcher sandwich. No, it's just fucking Jewel Man butchering the word sandwich over and over. He said, San. He spelled sandwich like this. And then he spelt it like this. <laughs> I gotta call you out on it. You did it twice in a row. You fucking did it twice in a row. <laughs> butchered it even worse than the original one like what the fuck is that i'm kind of hyped for the months to come movies like some movies that i actually want to see in theaters are coming out but now that black widow is coming out you said the matrix is coming out on the 21st we might hit that up during my birthday september 3rd shang chi comes out that's my birthday it's gonna be fun to check that out on my birthday and then the same month we got a uh, carnage coming out all right there's a certain enemy we want to kill here eyesore i spotted him get it i i murdered him Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Drop what I'm looking for. Yes, sir. All right, at least we got one thing that I wanted. Or the, the actual only thing I wanted. 
Don't go. Don't fly through the box. Lay a goddamn egg. She's laying an egg in the box, bro. I can't hit it. She's smarter than we think. Stop laying eggs. We're not repeating Lepus. Let me out. I'm going underground. <laughs> it's safer down here. Oh, you fucked up. What does the dice do? Your clicks have a 10% chance to double click. But the reason we want it is for this right here. The Wi-Fi kit. Boom. We combine a bunch of accessories together. We get rid of this thing. The beholder. Voila. More damage, hopefully. I don't know. This thing sounds like it does a lot more damage. Enemies around your cursor are briefly revealed to take 15% more damage. Disconnected. Why, why wouldn't it be disconnected? Disconnected again. Elite. Is Elite better than Pro? It is. Oh, shit. It's nighttime. Hold up. Hey, NPCs might die from this. You know what I think would be better, though? I think this one would be better. Yeah. I could have died right there if I didn't have immunity when his head was coming. Wi-Fi kit. Let's make this. We need the sticky obsidian keychain. And we need the band of clicking. I don't have that, really. No, it's been a while since I coded these, like, homes in blood. What if you clicked harder? Do you do more damage? See, that's a feature they should add in. I could click really hard. I could break the damn mouse. I'm not going to do that for obvious reasons. But, like, they should add that in the future. My door just opened on its own. Hold up. Like I said in the past, if there's a ghost in my house, me and him are homies, so it's all good. I told him I won't bother him if he doesn't bother me. That's the only way I could get a shark tooth necklace? Are you kidding me, bro? Okay. The joke, the joke is on the ghost that visits my room when I'm butt naked streaming. He's like, <laughs> I'm gonna open the door on him, watch this, and then I'm butt ass naked streaming, and he's like, ah, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I know I'm gonna summon a blood moon at night. You guys don't have to fucking tell me. What else am I gonna do? If you haven't been to a Game Raider stream and ha don't hear me talking about being naked while streaming, you haven't been to enough Game Raider streams. <laughs> this is how all my Terrier streams go. Like, I want to progress, but then we get st stuck farming for a certain item, and then that's what we do for, like, 90% of the stream. And then, like, I kill, like, one boss. Seeing more regular zombies than I'm seeing blood zombies. Okay, so I gotta kill 15. I don't think that's happening in this night. <laughs> I feel like I've seen this clown more than I've seen uh, blood zombies and dripplers. Nothing spawns in Terraria when you want it to spawn. That's the fucking amazing thing about the game. Does the guy who was selling accessories sell a shark necklace? See, that's what I was thinking for a second. But then I'm pretty... Ah, he might. Fucking perfect. He sells black belt too? I didn't even know he sold all this. Why? Fi. Kit. Done progress made there's a golden something golden worm <gasps> no i'm gonna catch you i will catch you oh <gasps> got him <laughs> we got warding 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 armored reaching reaching we got two reaching and i still like don't have that much range oh my god this is expensive oh perfect though yeah, you would think a shark tooth necklace would drop from a shark, but it's Terraria. A fucking plant drops an Uzi. Let's make a soul forge. And then let us make a grim harvest sigil. Perfect. All right, it's been a minute since I fought this boss, so honestly, good damage so far. Okay, this fight's definitely different from the last time I fought it. Does it do that like one attack still where like you get insta-killed? That was always my favorite attack. <laughs> I'm dodging stuff on accident. No, I wasn't ready for that attack. Oh my god. I should have died. Boss complete. I'm going home. If we like just no ignore all mini bosses or events. Look at that. There's not a lot left. We turn all that on though. Look how much is. There's a shrew mic clicker. Auto click. That that's what it says. It just says auto click. That's what we'll do. We'll do the shrew mic one first. These, these are the fancy houses. These NPCs must pay a fine to live here. And if they cannot pay that fine, they pay with their life. You know what? I'm going to build the mushroom guy's shit out of them. I'm going to build it out of the ugliest furniture I could possibly find. We're starting with a pumpkin chair. Because that's... This is... We can't lie. The pumpkin shit's pretty ugly. Uh, we're going to get a cactus table. Skull lantern. Oh, we need the blocks and the walls too, of course. Thank you for reminding me. I know for walls, I'm going to talk to this dude. I'm going to get this painting. Yeah. And then does anybody sell like ugly blocks? Somebody has to sell blocks. Is 
Okay. See, this is what you get, tough buff. For even mentioning that I should build the truffles house out of like a good material. I'm not even gonna listen to you. You're trying to add to the ugliness. I'm not even gonna listen to you. We're gonna just start like this. All right, we're gonna have the floor all one design and then I'm gonna ruin it. Shit's not even even. <laughs> Don't fucking lie and say the house looks fine. If this house looks fine to you, you make square houses, box houses. Still look fine to you? The ugliest fucking wall in the game. Why do you guys always think the houses look like dicks? Like, what kind of dick does this house look like? What? Y'all are weird, bro. Y'all got fucked up anatomy. The house is the reason people have nightmares. It's a beautiful house, alright? Don't slander it. Look at that. When you see this on the mini map, it looks even better. Do you piss with your pants all the way down or up? I'm not gonna answer. Just know one way is a degenerate way and the other is the Chad way to do it. We want the mushroom guy to spawn in. He spawns in. I get the shroomite clicker. We make it nighttime. We do the pumpkin moon. So all I can do right now is wait. I guess I could tell the story about like how I almost got hit by a cop. This one time, it was me and my friend, we were about to cross the street, we are trying to head to Burger King. Uh, this cop, there's a cop on a bike, and the motherfucker just like hits the corner, speeding. No like sirens on or anything, he's just doing it because he's a cop, you know? And there was like me, my friend, and then this old lady like crossing the street. And motherfucker almost hits all three of us, just because, just because he wanted to. Me and my friend, we were like, what the fuck? We, were, Me and my friend were just shocked, we didn't really say anything. But then the old lady, she was like, oh my god! She fucking scared me more than the fucking cop did. And then there was another time I almost got hit by a car. It was on the way to school, and I was walking to school. And I was crossing the street, and it was a, it was a very small, like, crosswalk. And I was crossing the street. The motherfucker just, like, he just floors it. In the middle of me, like, I'm halfway across the street, and he just floors it. And, like, I straight up just get, like, I straight up walk into the car. He's like, I'm walking. Next thing I know, boom, there's a car in front of me. Not not like me getting hit in front of the car. Like, they're straight up. It's like walking into a wall. The car is just, boom, right in front of me. And I bump into the car, and I start knocking on the guy's window. I'm like, hey, yo, what the fuck? And the motherfucker doesn't even look at me. He just drives off. Nothing I hate more than an asshole. He could have hit me. I would have been fine if he was like, oh, my bad, my bad. But he was an asshole and just drove away. Didn't even look me in the eye on top of it. That's how you infuriate me so much. <laughs> And then I could tell the story about the FedEx guy too. There was a fucking FedEx guy that delivered to me the other day. And the dude just didn't want to say like anything. He he got he had like four packages. He knocked on my door, had like four packages. And I thought like damn I ordered a bunch of shit that I've been waiting for. Cause you know, I order some stuff and it comes in whenever, so I, I never really pay attention to it. And I'm like, damn, I must have got a bunch of shit. So then he gave me the headphones. I knew the headphones were coming in. So he gave me that. And then I was about to sign the signature and I touched my finger to his, to, to the signature pad. And he's like, can you put on a mask? And I'm like, bruh, this interaction can be like five seconds. I sign my signature, gives me my packages. He's gone. This motherfucker goes, can you put on a mask, please? I'm like, bro, we're already like, this is already going on longer than it needs to go. So I go walk to my room. I grab my mask. I have to go find my mask that I haven't used in a while. Cause I haven't left the house in a minute. I find my mask. I come back. I sign it and then he doesn't say anything. I sign it and that's it. He hands me one of the packages. And I'm like, I'm standing there. I'm like, is he going to hand me any other packages? <laughs> because he's just sitting there with packages outside my door. So now I'm just kind of just standing there. Uh, and then like I started like moving around my shoes near the door to pretend like I'm busy. So it wasn't that awkward. The motherfucker is still, he's still not saying nothing. And then he finally like gets up, turns around, moves the packages to the next door. Because he had to drop off one of those packages to the other door. And then I go, oh, all right, have a good one, man. The motherfucker doesn't even say a word to me. I left the door open for a second too. I was waiting for him to be like, yeah, you too. Or just be like, mm-hmm. Like I was waiting for a fucking noise. At least a noise, at least a mm-hmm. Motherfucker doesn't say anything. And I just close the door. I'm like, all right, fucking asshole, fuck you too. What a guy. It's not my fault you're fucking stuck knocking on doors for a living bro don't bring that negativity over here though come on man i don't care like how bad of a mood you're in it's like it's never at any point to bring like negativity to somebody else even if you're in a bad mood you know what i'm saying like i worked in retail i'm pissed off every day when i work in retail but i'm always being nice to people i'm always like oh how can i help you 
was like, oh, you need help with anything? You know, I'm always doing that shit. Especially when I was a cashier, too. This motherfucker couldn't, couldn't even make a noise. He couldn't even be like, mm-hmm. Couldn't have been like, have a nice day. Mm -hmm. I would have accepted just that noise. If he moaned, that would have been fine to you. Just acknowledgement of me saying, have a good day. Would have been fine for me. I should tell other stories I've had with uh, FedEx. So I bought these new headphones. And they were out of stock originally. And then I saw them come in stock for a little bit on Amazon. So then I bought the one on Amazon that came in stock. They came in stock on Best Buy. And my brother, you know, he works for Best Buy. So then I was able to get a discount. So I was like, hell yeah, let me get that discount. The discount was good. It was like 50, 60 bucks. And uh, so I bought that, told him to buy that. And then uh, the Amazon one I wanted to return, obviously. And it still hasn't gotten here. The Amazon one is still like four or five days out from getting here. Or maybe less than that, like four or three days. So I just hit cancel. And usually if you cancel something like that before it gets here, they just send that shit back out to the, to the people that you bought it from. No, Amazon wanted to deliver the package to me. So I still had to wait like three, four days for the headphones to get here. And then I had to slap a fucking return label on it, go out, give it to UPS and send it back out. And I'm talking about like, I canceled the order four or five days ahead before the package got here, before it even shipped out. And they still wanted to deliver it and send me it out or send me send it back out. I was like, bro, come on. Of course, Amazon would make me do that. Amazon's always doing something, man. All right, what am I doing? Oh, we're going to do a pumpkin moon. We gotta extend this arena out. This house has been here for so long, but it's time for it to go so long. Might be a little late in the game to terraform, but you know, it's never too late. How fast can we do this event? Not Jack the Lumberjack. Just consider this a podcast already, you know? A lot of people watch my Terraria streams and highlights, especially stream highlights, just the audio alone. I already told like 90% of my life stories already, so like I don't even have content for the podcast. What do I talk about? News that I don't care about? Hey, I don't even know what enemy drops the item I'm looking for. I would assume this guy. If I were to guess, I would assume him. Slowly but surely. That like little burst of damage might be really good. Yeah, I would guess the pumpkin drops it too. Watch it be like some obscure enemy in the It's gonna be the fucking horseman. Morning wood trophy. Why would I want a trophy of that? No. I don't think we got it, what we were looking for. Come on, drop it. Please. <sighs> Fuck off. I'm not fighting you. All right, well, I tried my best, but RNG beat me today. All right, let's do it. Akram, to cap the stream off. It's not nighttime. Gary, what the heck are these noises? This music, I feel like it's going to be loud as shit in a second. Hey, okay, hold up. It's picking up. It's picking up. So I think Consolaria did touch up this boss a bunch. Like this definitely, I don't remember this being the original fight. Given that I have not fight, fought a uh, Akram long as hell. What the fuck is going on? That actually is kind of hard to dodge. Okay, if there's no like other, oh my God. You saw what I almost did right there? How does that happen? I honestly thought it was gonna get hard as shit. There was like a phase in there. Like when he switched to the second phase, where like it looked like it was kind of hard to dodge some shit, but then he just kind of did that over and over again. This stream tired me out. We did too much farming. Especially after yesterday's stream where we also did nothing but farm in Terraria 1.4 co-op. So we had to do like double the farming. So I'm kind of just tired of fucking farming shit. Farming in Terraria, that shit begin to my head. It just takes too much effort to farm things sometimes. Bye bye. Have a great day, night, whatever.